and uh, I came for the first time and was so overwhelmed by the, at that time, recliner leather seats, which was not a common uh, occurrence in any of the other theaters. Having the opportunity to have a glass of wine and some pizza right at a table, it was just amazing to me. It was, you know, restaurant plus movie theater. This is historic San Marco, home to many restaurants, shops, and this glorious Art Deco Theater. San Marco Theater opened June 5, 1938 and featured state-of-the-art projectors and seating for 500 people. A Slight Case of Murder starring Edward G. Robinson, Alan Jenkins, and Jane Bryan was the first movie to grace the big screens here. Roy Benjamin was the genius behind the design of this theater. He also is noted for designing the famous Florida Theater and Sunray Cinema here in Jacksonville. While many other local theaters closed down in the 1960s, San Marco Theater managed to stay open because it showed art house movies that other theaters in the area did not. After 84 and a half years, I am sad to report that this historic landmark will be closing its doors for good. So let's go see one last movie, reminisce about the old times, and take a tour of this incredible theater. So this is one of the last showings here at San Marco Theater. You can see all the people lined up here getting ready to go in. There's Love Actually and The Grinch. That's the last two movies that are playing here. And I am so sad to see this go because this is such a landmark in the San Marco community. One cheese, one pepperoni. So before we head in to see Love Actually, I'm picking up one last snack here at the concession. And this isn't just any concession. This is a full kitchen. And that was the beauty of San Marco Theater. You could get a full meal with your movie. It really did blow all those other larger theaters out of the water. Love Actually was supposed to be in this main theater today, but because of a last-minute event that got scheduled here, it got moved to the theater that was added on in 2016. Now, at that time, they did do some renovations here to the main theater from 1938, and they covered over all of the Art Deco murals on the ceiling, but they are safe and sound under that tile. And if you come back out from the main theater, there's the lobby on your right-hand side, and this little hallway that leads to the concession stand and the smaller theater theater that's just next door. Now, at first, I was a little disappointed that I wasn't getting to see my last movie in the main theater from 1938. However, I had never seen a movie in this tiny little theater they added on, and it turned out to be just the perfect spot for one more movie. It was quaint, it was cozy, and overall lovely. I hadn't seen Love Actually in years, and to be honest, I totally forgot about how good this movie really is. It was the perfect last hurrah for San Marco Theater. It does make me a little sad seeing those credits roll, but I've got some fabulous clips coming up from theater patrons and San Marco Theater workers who share their memories of San Marco Theater. I worked at this theater for eight months, and it was the best experience I've ever had. Literally the best job I've ever had. What's so special about San Marco Theater, do you the, think? Just meeting new people and like seeing everyone, seeing how much they love this place. It's so historic and ancient and everyone loves this place. I just love meeting new people here. It's fantastic and it's so sad to see it go. I tell you, I've been coming here since I was a kid, so this is definitely yeah, such a sad time. But hopefully sad. whoever gets this building will pay homage hopefully to it and do something homage, cool. You know? Yeah. That would, be a, that would be fantastic. So I just met this lovely lady in the lobby. What is your name? Genesis. Genesis. And tell me, how long has it been since you've been to this theater? Oh my gosh, almost 30 years. <laughs> um, the first time was probably back in the late 90s, I mean early 90s. And uh, I came for the first time and was so overwhelmed by the, at that time, recliner leather seats, which was not a common uh, occurrence in any of the other theaters. Having the opportunity to have a glass of wine and some pizza right at a table, it was just amazing to me. It was, you know, restaurant plus movie theater, the best of both worlds. And what about the architecture? Did it just wow you? Incredible. I love that retro feel. Um, this uh, machine behind me, the film projector behind me is incredible. 
incredible. It's, a, it's just a great part of a Jacksonville history, so glad to be part of it. And of course, with the theater closing, I'm sure we're all very sad, but what do you hope this building becomes? Another venue for either live theater or something in the arts, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I've been coming here to the San Marco Theater for the entire time that I've lived here, which is 34 years. Um, I own a home right down the street, and we used to walk here, um, and which was the, the beautiful part of living near uh, in San Marco area. So I think this uh, movie theater really makes the area, and it brings people together and families come here to spend the, the time watching movies, and um, really going to miss it. Um, so, please, we need a movie theater here. <laughs> <laughs> we do. So what would you say to people that are considering streaming and doing everything online? Would you say to shop local and support your businesses? Well, I'll be honest with you. I always support local business. I don't really stream a lot of things. I'm old school, and I love just coming out and supporting local business. So, you know, I'm not one of those people that have been dissing the um, movie theaters and I go into local shops. I don't shop online a lot. Um, I just feel that's that's for me, that's authentic and I feel we have to support local business. Well thank you so much. And your name's Marcy? Marcy, yes. Marcy. Well wonderful to meet you Marcy and thank you for sharing your wonderful memories of coming here to the San Marco Theater because it sure is a gem and we are definitely sad to see it go. So how long have you been coming to this theater? This is my only, my second time. But I really liked it, and I was really sad to hear that it was closing, so I wanted to come and experience one of the last movies here. And I love that it's part of the neighborhood, and I love the old facade, and I love the retro look and feel of it, and that it has like food and drink service. So. It's really fantastic. So what do you hope happens with the building? Oh goodness, I hope they make some creative space in it, like some kind of art space or some kind of community space where families can come and interact and just something really fun that the community can be involved in. Me too. Thank you so much. You. So I am here with Melody and Linda. I just met them. They are going to one of the last showings here at San Marco Theater, and we are all so sad. I'm so sad. Yeah. We came here growing up. We're sisters, and we grew up in Jacksonville, and we came here just as a dollar theater with our friends and family, and we're just so sad that it's closing. It's just been an amazing theater. Yeah, we used to come all the time with our friends and family, so we're really sad it's closing. I know. It really it's is so sad. Such a beautiful area too. It really is. This is just a great local place. Thanks for sharing this memory. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So I'm standing outside of the theater and I just met Tina. She's a lovely lady and you remember coming here as a kid? Absolutely. I've been, I'm a native of Jacksonville and as a kid we used to come here to see uh, movies. We used to come here as well as the Riverside Theater as well. So we come here on field trips. Um, my aunt lived in this area so she used to bring us here. I remember seeing all the movies back in the day going to be missed. Old school, homey, family feeling, not that big cinema feeling, which a lot of people like, but I'm more accustomed to small, smaller theaters and crowds, so I will miss it. It will definitely be missed. What was your favorite movie you saw here as a kid? Actually, The Grinch. The Grinch, and that's what's playing. It's one of the final the movies. Movie that they're playing is absolutely The Grinch. The Grinch, fantastic. Yes. Well, yes. thank you so much for taking the time to share this with us. You're welcome, and you be blessed, and have a wonderful new year. I sure will. Well, I just met Lucy and Maddie outside the theater, and oh my gosh, we're all sad by this news. That's what people keep telling me over and over again today. And what are some memories you have of the San Marco Theater? One of my favorite memories was coming with my grandma to watch Frozen when it first came out. Aw, how special. Um, and I like coming here with friends. Awesome. So what do you hope that this building turns into once it's not a theater anymore? Um, I hope it turns into another restaurant because I really love coming here to have like dinner and lunch with friends and the family. This is a great area, isn't it? Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. So when I was at the last movie showing at San Marco Theater, I overheard a patron ask what would become of the large projector in the lobby. And of course, I was instantly curious and kind of was listening in from the sidelines. And the lady told this gentleman that there would be an auction 
this coming Tuesday at 9.30. So, of course, immediately I ran over there and I said, hey, is anyone welcome to come to the auction? And she goes, oh, yeah, it's open to everybody. So, of course, here I am on the way to the auction to see what cool treasures we can find. I don't know what kind of auction this will be. I don't know if things will go for crazy prices, if they'll have a live auctioneer, or if it's just sort of casual, there's some guy there handing out stuff from the theater. So we're just going to go find out and see what I can get. And I'm really, really excited about it because it would be so cool to have a piece of San Marco Theater. Well, guys, it is the day of the auction, and I am currently at San Marco Theater, and I was here first along with a few other people that are buying for a restaurant, so they're getting some of the industrial cooking stuff from their kitchen, and here I am getting the exit sign, the ladies and men's bathroom signs with the amazing Art Deco font, and currently, right now, I am trying to get off this doorknob because it is an original, probably from the 30s when the theater was built, and I want this, and it's only $10, so it's coming home with me. The exit signs were only 20, which was so reasonable, and I am really excited to have one of these. I'm told they're an original from the 30s. I don't know how true that is, but it's really cool to have a small piece of a San Marco theater here, and I'm about to ask to see if these lights are original, because these globes are fabulous. And of course, the question for everybody is who is getting this piece here? And to answer that, I don't know. The theater owner so she's gonna have to do a lot more research because of course, I'm sure this is worth a pretty significant amount of money and it's just a great piece. And to me, one of the most iconic pieces from the theater. So everything today is self-take. So that means that you gotta bring your own tools and take everything down and uh, take it out yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is the inside of the amazing ticket window from the 30s. So cool. Right now they just have their little Christmas elf display in it. But look at the original fan in here. How fabulous is that? And I'm trying to get this incredible doorknob off. So I've got the first set of screws taken off and I've got to do the second. Okay guys, this is so cool. The owner, Renee, just came down with this in color piece and offered it to me. So I'm definitely picking this up today. I got the doorknob off. Look how cool this is, oh my gosh. And he thinks that these are original 1938 exit signs. That's what everyone keeps telling me. I think they've been painted, but they could be original and they're very cool. So even if they're not from the 30s, it's still a cool piece of San Marco history. And then we have all of these pieces here, which are just amazing. So I can't wait to go walk around and see what else we can find. Okay guys, I have found another stairwell. So let's go up here and explore. This is really cool. I've never been able to do this because I'm no longer a patron. I'm now a buyer. I can come up all these back stairwells and see what cool things are up here. Looks like this is part of the storeroom. So they've got all their Christmas decorations and other stuff up here. Whoa, look at this beauty. This is a fabulous metal cabinet. Golly, I do not have room for this. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Look at this, oh, so incredible. And then over here, there's what appears to be an old fire door. And it is thick, and it's got this gorgeous handle, which I think I'm going to have to take that as well, because that's too fabulous to leave behind. Oh my gosh, look at these. Fire door. Riveted in. That is just amazing. Wow, so cool. And then over here, they have more storage for food and stuff for the theater. And man, that's a cool green door. And they got lots of cool pieces here. Now, what's going on over here? Is these folks are from a gaming store and they are trying to get a giant ice maker down the stairs. <laughs> Which is going to be hard, but yeah, I think we're going to take the handle off of this fire door up here and take it with us because it's too cool. It's where the ice maker was. And this is the projector room. 
And my gosh, this is really cool. So all of this stuff is a little bit more modern, but it is super neat. I thought about picking up this cool running poster because I remember that movie so well, but I have nowhere to put it. So it's pretty cool. Just sort of modern stuff back here, but really need to see how the theaters progressed into all this modern equipment for the projectors. Much more modern than what we're seeing downstairs with that beautiful piece. Okay guys, this is one of these days that I'm so thrilled that I actually have my Swiss Army knife with me because I need a small screwdriver to get in this crevice to take off this door handle so I can take it home with me. And this screwdriver is just perfect for the job. There's also a little set screw here that I need to unscrew so I can pull this knob off and take these pieces off the door. But this puppy's coming home with me and I could not be more thrilled. So I'm in the upper part of the theater and check this out. Is this not incredible? It is an old panel for some sort of electrical operation. It's the Transvert for Motion Picture Projection, the Hartner Electric Company. Check out all these little brass placards. Oh my gosh, you guys, are they not incredible? I asked the theater manager about this and he says that it might actually go to something or still have some sort of electrical function. So they have to check to see if I can have it or not, but they're going to call me and if I can, then he'll let me take the little placards and panels off of this front display, which is just amazing. And check out the inside. I mean, this has got some old wiring, probably some cloth wiring, I would think. Look at how old this is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, that is crazy to think that this did something back in the day. And then look at this little panel down here. Now, I don't know what in the world this goes to, but check out the Art Deco front. Doesn't it look like one of those old cameras? It's the Alice and Chambers Manufacturing Company or Clammers Manufacturing Company. Just so cool. And then over here, there is a hole because I just pried off a wood board and I have salvaged this amazing old pencil sharpener. Look at the graphics on the old celluloid. Is that not amazing? And the wood handle here. This is fabulous. And guys, it was only $5. You can't beat that. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm back at San Marco Theater again because Renee found some more things I might be interested in. And look at this. This is off of the original projector, I believe from probably 1938 when the theater was built. Here's one of them here. And uh, he is letting me take home this amazing glass door panel off of the projector that says RCA. And I cannot wait to light that from behind. That is gonna be amazing. And of course we found another fabulous doorknob. And then in here, I'm getting ready to take these things off the wall and take them home with me because they are just so wonderful. Look at this. How awesome is that? And look at this little piece here with the front panel. Oh my gosh, that's just amazing. So I am thrilled to have these things. Now, Renee tells me that these projectors, and Renee's right here, would have been on a slider system so they could be changed out. And this wall probably wasn't here. So that's really, really cool. I'm, I'm very excited about all these things. Well, we've almost got the panel off, which is very exciting. So I took all the screws off from the sides, of course, tested this to make sure that this wasn't live again with the tester that the theater had, which was great. And you can see in here that these little metal pipes run through the wall to the other side, and they have these metal casings on them that screw on and keep it nice and tight against the wall. So I got some help getting those loose because man, they were stuck on there after like 80 plus years. So we've got them loose and now we should be able to just take this box right off the wall, take it home with us and do something really cool. I'm just excited to have this. So what a treasure. Well, we got the box down and look what I found, a hidden key. That's right, a hidden key behind this panel. It fell off when I was removing the box. So that is really cool. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that goes to, but that's pretty awesome. Got the box down. This is what old wiring looks like from the 1930s. Big wires go through these pipes, probably lead. 
and they're in the walls and then all of this just runs through. Isn't that amazing? Golly, wow, this was some work getting this puppy off, but he is going to be fabulous in my home here. There's screws flying everywhere. <laughs> my hands are dirty, but my, that was so much fun and definitely worth it. Well guys, that's it for San Marco Theater. And I cannot believe I'm walking outside of its doors for the very last time. It's so surreal to me. I love this place and I have such fond memories of it growing up from seeing some great titles with friends and family to riding my bicycle past this amazing Art Deco facade on the way to the local coffee house every Saturday and so many friends in the Jacksonville community shared their memories as well and it definitely was a fan favorite here in the Jacksonville area. I'm so sad to see it go as we all are but I hope this video will be a lasting memory of how incredible this place was. And of course, before my next video, folks, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always that you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube. Bye-bye, everyone.